Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I don't know what this was, but welcome back to my channel. I'm so glad you guys are here. For anyone new, my name is Joy. I go by they, them pronouns. This is my channel where I talk about whatever the fuck I wanna talk about and show you guys more about my life. So thank you for being here and for everyone else who's come back, thank you. Hey, what's up? How was you guys, new year? Literally, how was it? How'd it go? I wanna know everything. I spent my new year's reading and then realized it was 12 o'clock. So I promptly went to bed because I'm fucking old. Uh, today, you guys have already seen at the title of the video, we are talking about my favorite Nintendo Switch games that I have been playing, the best casual Nintendo Switch games that I've been playing because I am not a hardcore player, okay? I like my cute little games where I get to do cute little things and I don't have to worry about like, a whole lot of a whole lot of okay some of the games in our list today do have some like fighting scenes and stuff but for the most part it's pretty much just like <laughs> like casual cutesy games okay so if you're in the mood for something where you can just like sit down and play some music in the background and play this game and feel at ease and feel calm and not feel like you have to worry about whether or not your skills are up to snuff, this is the video for you, okay? So, let's get into it. Uh, before we get into it, actually, I just wanted to show you guys my little switch. This is this is what I play on, okay? That's, you guys are somewhere there. Ha, huh, that's you. Uh, <laughs> this is what I play on. This is the back of my switch with my beautiful stickers. It's not quite full, like I still have Space here and like I just kind of want to fill some of this in but um here it is let's look at some of my favorite games oh, almost dropped it this is going great <laughs> okay we'll start with the one that I've been playing the most um the one that I've been playing the most right now is Stardew Valley okay I have been playing this game like a crazy person okay I actually had to wean myself off of it because at one point I played the game for literally three days straight as in I wake up play the game go to sleep and then when I woke up the next day I was back to playing this damn game Stardew Valley is going to be a great game for you if you like to play like farming games where you get to grow things um, it's just like a very casual game like I mentioned before um, right now I think I have played let's see how much I played I played a total of now okay yeah I played a total of 44 hours <laughs> and 39 minutes this is the newest game that I've gotten so that 44 hours that is that is that's a lot that that's a lot um, I'm currently on day eight of fall in year two. So the whole premise of the game is the fact that you are working um, and you hate your life because of capitalism. Same. Um, and you get a letter from your grandfather who's like, open this when life sucks really hard. So you open the letter and it says, here's a farm. And then you get to this town called Stardew Valley. I think is the name of the town or is just that the valley? Who cares? Um, and you get your grandfather's farm and the whole thing is that you are bringing the farm back to life, okay? So you get to farm things and you get to raise animals and you get a little pet. I have a dog uh, and you live in this cute little house that you can upgrade the house, buy things for the house. Um, and the whole point as I know it right now because I haven't gotten super super far in the game is basically you are just planting getting coins for your um, from your farm and then you also have to talk with the townsfolk okay so you get to like give them gifts and talk to them and you know there's like a mayor and a blacksmith and um, store owners and just regular people so you go and talk to them super cute uh, currently I haven't given that many gifts because people just don't really seem to like me that much yet I keep giving gifts on accident <laughs> when I'm trying to carry the item around 
so there's that but uh, eventually what I will be doing is focusing more on trying to get my neighbors to like me so that I can give them gifts and they can I don't know what you get out of it but I just feel the need to make them like me you know uh, and then there's some other like mystical parts it's like a mystical mission with the community center I'm not gonna tell you everything because you deserve to play it and enjoy it but there's some like mystical parts I'm sure people who have played the game for their honor like you don't even know what's coming I probably don't <laughs> but um, yes I would definitely give this game like a 10 out of 10 I'm having a great time playing this game the next game is Animal Crossing obviously I feel like if you are chilling and you just want something like cozy and fun and casual this is probably the number one game that people are going to recommend to you is Animal Crossing uh, if you have been living under a rock and don't know what Animal Crossing is basically you have a little teeny tiny character and they're so cute and you get to put them in little outfits but anyway so you get this uh, character and you move to an island and it is your job to renovate the island make it look really nice um, and eventually invite other islanders to come and hang out with you okay so then they move to the island and then it's all cutesy and fun and there's um other people that come visit your island for challenges you get to grow stuff like I have a whole farm um, you get to build your house I finally afforded to get my entire house okay I paid my house off it's a little capitalistic I'm not gonna lie but it's addicting as fuck um, get to go fishing you get to visit other islands I did get the uh, what is it like the extender pack the the extension the extension pack um, so what is it called what is it'll be right here this extension pack is the one that I got um, so I'm able to go to another island and be able to decorate those houses and it's so fun I did not think I was going to enjoy that that much but it's so much fun to be able to like the client gives you a theme so they'll be like um I want like a video game paradise and so you would decorate their entire house with basically like just any of the furniture that they have available to you and then you get paid in pokey which you get to use on that island which is just it's so much fun I love it um, so I've been playing Animal Crossing pretty much on and off I'm either like all the way on or like all the way off um, but I will say that when I do pick up Animal Crossing it is very hard for me to put it down so don't pick any don't pick any of these games up if you have 30 minutes to play okay these are very much like I've got three hours you know like I've got the time the next game on my list is called figment as in figment of your imagination okay uh, which I guess is kind of where the story comes up um, basically you are in Z brain and it is your job as a little teeny tiny character uh, to be in charge of dopamine I was gonna say estrogen dopamine and what's that other serotonin okay <laughs> okay um, so yeah basically the premise of the game is that you are in a little girl's head and she's sad life is hard and so you are in charge of making sure that you get the brain functioning again getting some feel-good chemicals that I learned was dopamine and I literally just looked at I literally just looked this up my brain is gone serotonin okay I know that it's just it was gone um, so you fight these different monsters um, and there's like different levels and um, everything in the game is kind of set up as if you're going to like different dimensions little towns um, so there's puzzles that you have to fix once you get to a little dimension um, and there's monsters that you have to fight when you're there as well these monsters are you know monsters of like just bad and negative feelings in the brain so you're trying to get all of the negativity out and pull in some positivity um, it's super cute the puzzles are like 
mildly challenging I think some of them were like super easy especially at the beginning I was like ah, yeah okay got this and then they progressively get harder um, I'm not gonna lie I am the person that will like look steps up if I've been stuck for like 30 minutes because I just don't have that kind of uh, gamers patience um, but it's a fun game. It's really chill. Even with the, like the little monster fights, it doesn't seem like it doesn't feel like you have to do too much to um, beat them. But it's still just enough of a challenge where you're just kind of like you know like sitting up and you're trying to win. Okay, um, I haven't finished the game yet. That's another thing about me. I'm really bad at finishing games. Okay, so just don't come to me and ask if I finished a game. It is not my thing it is not my forte okay so i play a lot of games at the same time and i have yet to finish a lot of them <laughs> um but uh figment is just a super fun game super chill i would give this like an eight and a half out of ten i am not a game connoisseur again so take these ratings with a grain of salt um but i think it would be a fun game if you're looking for something that's a little bit more um less casual but still casual you know like just on the like the more exciting end of casual um and it's just puzzle filled lots of fun the artistry is great it kind of feels like old school almost um and it's just like a nice game to kind of get the brain moving you know moving and grooving i play this when i don't feel like doing something that's like super monotonous where it's like I kind of just do the same things over and over this one is more like every level is different you never know what's going to be coming and it's just super fun okay. uh, the other game that I am playing right now that I love um, I don't know how I don't know how uh, casual this one is I don't know if I'd put it like a hundred percent under casual but the way I've been playing is <laughs> extremely casual <laughs> okay um, so that game is Zelda breath of the wild okay I this is my first Zelda game I, like I, I feel like I need to put like a like a warning like hello non gamer here please don't run at me like don't come for me <laughs> um but this was my first one I, it was like really good reviews and it was on sale so i was like yeah why not uh first impressions is that it's just like beautifully done um i think it's i love love games that feel like a story and this one definitely feels like a story um i'm not gonna lie after i finished the first large mission I've just kind of been chilling and like trying to figure out the controls okay um, so if you haven't played Zelda Breath of the Wild this game is basically you wake up um, and you don't really know why uh, you don't know where you are you don't know uh, what's going on you know nothing um, eventually you figure out that um, you have to reach these sort of like towers similar to the place where you woke up and uh, unlocking towers helps you unlock some more information about where you are and what you gotta do uh the big things that you are consistently doing is trying to get more items um whether that's like warmer clothing or um food or uh like equipment you know like horses and all that kind of stuff you're trying to get more of that stuff so that you're able to reach more and more of your goals because some of your goals are going to be out of reach without some of this extra helpful stuff so spending a good amount of time doing that at the moment um finally got my horse and it wasn't one of the spotted ones because those are easier to get i got a solid colored horse did it take me 30 minutes it did <laughs> but I got it <laughs> um, and yeah so you there's you know there's stuff about the story that I don't want to tell people if they haven't played it yet so um, I would suggest you play this if you're looking for something that um, it can be played casually like I said the way I'm playing it kind of right now is just getting a lot of resources and not doing so much of the fighting part because I'm not quite the best I'm not bad but I'm not the best um, 
So the people that you are fighting are just like monsters that are guarding pretty much every square inch of the damn land. And um, they are protecting the, you know, like the big boss who I don't know how I'm gonna fight that guy. I don't know how it's gonna happen. But uh, yeah, so there's like a big boss who's in charge of everyone, but then there's like a bunch of like little monsters that sometimes you have to fight in order to get from one place to the next. So I fight them, but it's just, yeah, I'm playing it very casually. Um, I'm excited to keep playing it. It's one of those things where I'm like, I'm challenging myself, especially with these games to one, do less of the looking up how to get through certain parts because I want to like challenge myself to you know figure out the puzzle like you can do it woohoo um, and then the other part that I'm challenging myself to do is to just like play through the parts that I'm not very good at and let myself die I just have a hard time with failure so this is a great way for me to fail and it has no consequences you know because if I die in the game who cares which Speaking of, that leads us to our final game that I'm playing right now because if you don't fail in this game, you're not playing it correctly, okay? The last game is called Hades. This baby right here. I don't know why I'm showing this to you when it's gonna be on the screen, but it's right here. I'm playing Hades. Hades is such a fun game. Um, it's definitely uh, like uh, Zelda. I've kind of gotten like less casual, but um, it's more, of a fighting game. Um, so you play as Hades' son. Don't remember his name because I never really thought Hades had an actual son. There goes my fucking Greek mythology. Anyway, um, so you play as Hades' son who was trying to escape the underworld and your entire thing in the, in the game is to get through all the levels of the underworld in order to finally leave. Um, bad thing is, that the whole game is surrounding around you dying. <laughs> so um, you literally just like keep going through and keep trying to get to the outside world. I have currently made it to the second level um, in however many there are, cause I don't know how many there are. And I think I've done about 60 tries. So um, there's that. <laughs> But yeah, so you go through all these different rooms um, and when you go into a room, there's like, obviously the underworld is full of guards, people who are trying to keep other people from leaving the dead, you know? So you have to fight through the guards, go through um, each room, and then once you clear a certain number of rooms, you've cleared that level and then you gotta go to the next one. Um, the thing with this game is that there's no pausing, there's no coming back. Okay, so once you die, you just start over. Um, and uh, when you do go through the rooms and you, um, what was I gonna say? When you, what was, the, what was the whole point I was gonna say about dying? Oh yeah, okay, so when you're playing the game, you can't pause when you're trying to get out. So when you're trying to get out, you have to keep playing until you A, eventually die, or B, you're just free. You know, like you, you, you won the game. Um, so be conscious of that because that is how time goes by really, really quickly. <laughs> um, and you do get help from the other lovely gods and goddesses that live on Mount Olympus, your relatives, your aunts and uncles and nephews and cousins and whoever the fuck. Uh, so they are trying to help you get out. You get different power-ups from them. You get to try different um, weapons and stuff. So uh, when you go through, every time you start over, you can get different upgrades from different gods and goddesses to help you get better and beat the upcoming monsters. Um, it's a super fun game. I love that the fact that there's a story, so you get to talk to you know different characters. Um, there's a lot of different like side missions where you're building this. You're trying to get to one part of the underworld that's like not open to you, um, and it's just like a fun game that you are supposed to die in. So I don't feel bad about dying in. Um, I do play on God mode. God mode is basically an option that you have to play where you get 2% uh, stronger every time you die and have to come back, you get 2% stronger in defense. So I didn't have it on at the beginning and that was a fucking mistake, okay? Once I got God Mode on, the game got 
a teeny weeny bit easier. It gets easier, but it's not like you don't have to play anymore. It's just like makes it more manageable to get through the different rooms. Um, so I would suggest playing on God mode if you're someone like me. If you're not, I don't know, take a chance at it. Good luck. Um, but Hades is definitely one of my favorite games that's on this list. Um, I, I just think it's just... I mean, correct me if I'm wrong, but it's just something that like a lot of games don't do is like, you know, the whole point is to die because you really can't get any stronger unless you die. You have to like come back to the beginning and talk to more characters and um, figure out some things that you didn't know before. But yeah, so uh, I would give Hades a 10 out of 10. I didn't rate all of these. So I don't know why I'm rating some of them, but um, yeah, Hades is a fantastic game. Please make sure to go get that. Okay, thank you guys so much for watching this video. Um, I have so much fun playing Nintendo Switch and there's so many games that I do play but I didn't want to fit them all in this one <laughs> video so maybe I'll do some um, new ones when I have new games that I'm going to start out and see how they are because again, they were on sale. Um, if you guys have any recommendations for me based off of these games, if you've played any of these, if you think that there are other games that I might like, please go ahead and put them in the comments because you know that I want some new games. I like the game rotation. I like being obsessed with one game and then leaving it and then being obsessed with another one. And then when you come back to the one that you left, it's almost like you haven't played ever. So it's like just as exciting. Um, but please go ahead and make sure to like, comment, subscribe to this channel. Okay, do it. But it was so nice to chat with you guys today. I'm gonna go and uh, play Stardew Valley. Bye!